Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a look at the next 72 hours. We're going to cover like the personal theme, advice, career, love, all of that. And at any point, if you do want a personal reading, I will have the information listed below, as well as my other channels, if you're into pick card readings and also astrology. So um, let's go ahead and jump in and see what's going on. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. What does the next 72 hours have in store? Virgos. Okay, so first card's going to represent the personal theme. We have the Six of Flowers, which would be the Six of Swords. The advice for you, we have the Ten of Pentacles. The possible challenge. I have the Knight of Teacups in reverse. Love and Romance, we have the Ace of Spears. And Career and Finance, we have the Sun card. Okay. And the overall message card for you, Virgos, we have Recycle, which represents Recover. All right, let's get into it. So focusing on the overall message, first thing that came to me is vetting, okay? During this time frame, you want to vet the opportunities that come your way, whether this is you looking for a new job and you have opportunities coming, but maybe there are certain things that you aren't aware of that may go into certain jobs. So you wanna make sure that you are taking the time out to Really analyze your options. Same thing in regards to love too. Another thing I'm kind of picking up with this card, it's going to be important to, it's going to be important to have discernment on what is worth putting your energy into over and over and over again versus what needs to go completely. Because I usually see recycle or recover when there's this reconciliation energy of someone coming back or something coming back into our lives and us having to discern on whether or not it's recoverable or if it's something that has to be just completely thrown out because it's not salvageable. And that's what you're going to have to basically do. Ask yourself, is this salvageable? Is this something that can't actually be recycled? or turned into something new, something different, something better. Hmm. Now, kind of going into what I'm seeing with the rest of the reading, um, the first card is gonna represent the personal theme. And with the Six of Swords being here, you could be surrendering to the process. You may have been so caught up in trying to control how things were going to turn out within a, within a relationship, within a job situation. But you could realize that the real peace lies in you surrendering into what's meant for you. And the more that you try to force outcomes, the harder it gets. Not only that, you could be mentally moving to a better space, like coming to a, a place of being at peace because you know that now the worst is over. And for a lot of you, things are shifting. Things are getting better for you. It's a matter of your mindset catching up with the circumstance that you're in. For a lot of you too, also moving could be a focus. You could be relocating. Okay, you could also be seeing a lot of progress in your day-to-day -day during uh, the next 72 hours, things could be starting to move a lot smoother for you in this time frame. Now, the challenge with the Ten of Pentacles, this could be family. You could have certain family members that are very overbearing. Uh, they want to have their opinion on everything, okay? This could be a long-term relationship, long-term marriage. This could also be just your living situation. You may not feel like your living situation is the most comfortable or the people you live with. If it is like other family members or like a roommate situation. But also just when it comes to your long-term, 
how do I say this? Like you could be looking at your resources and how secure, how stable you feel and in comparison to like where you really want to be. And the advice during this time frame is to like hold that vision, keep that vision and work backwards in regards to that instead of overwhelming yourself. Like, oh, I don't have, you know, this level of structure, this level of stability. Instead of focusing on that part, it's knowing what goals you have in mind and working backwards. And when it comes to family and whatnot, you do want to be careful of letting family put their two cents on your decision-making process. And if you are in a long-term relationship where things are not improving or getting better and it just seems like the years keep passing by and you keep staying in the state of unhappiness but holding on because of the time, it's time to ask yourself some really important questions. Now, when it comes to the challenge, I do have the Knight of Teacups in reverse. So the challenge could be that maybe you're waiting to hear from someone who hasn't reached out or may not reach out during this time frame, especially if they are a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. They could be not taking the action necessary to recover this relationship or to express how they feel to you. The challenge may also be... Hmm... The challenge may be that you may have to turn down certain opportunities that don't really benefit you. Like you could have people who want to work with you, who want to do this, who want to do that, but you're having to maybe turn down some opportunities. And it could be kind of hard. Okay. And also too, when I see this card, it's usually when someone is not able to see opportunity around them or lacking consistency. So the, the challenge could be being super consistent during this time frame because there could be other stuff going on emotionally. So make sure you are taking care of your emotional self and not ignoring that um, just by working it off, you know? But when it comes to love and romance, I have the Ace of Spears. So there could be this strong attraction to someone here. You could even be trying to start fresh start on a clean slate with someone from your past. For my singles, there could be like this new brewing connection between you and someone, whether that's like just sexually or like you guys wanting to take it a lot further than that. But I definitely see this energy of like chemistry and the energy being strong between you and someone else. And again, you could be wanting somebody to take action during this time frame on pursuing this or taking certain actions to show that they're serious. With your career in finance, we have the Sun card. So you could be pretty happy with how things are progressing. You could be realizing things also about your career, like what's truly going to make you happy in the long term. Hmm. Yeah, for, for the most part, you could be also wanting to maybe shift into entrepreneurship or a career where it's more so connected to your passions and the things that make you happy instead of just working a job that pays bills. But these are just some of the things that I'm seeing. I hope that this reading just in general was helpful and that you're able to take something from it. If you did, definitely thumbs up the video, subscribe so you never miss a beat, and I will see you in the next one.